Welcome to the Knuckle Tardistan Parliamentally Pre-Tarded Question Exclamation Point Period for Friday, February the 5th, in this first year of our COVID. We have Gérard Deltel from Louis Saint Laurent, Quebec, giving us a wonderful theatrical performance at the service of the Queen's controlled opposition. What does he say? He wants the secret documents. Ooh, the secret documents. Yes, everybody wants to see the secret documents, like as if anybody cares. He's a good actor, I give him that much. His job is to keep pumping the we want Vaseline now brainwashing message so that pre-tard Canadians can feel validated. From his perch across the river, we have Stephen McKinnon, the next contestant on the Knuckle Tards Are Always Right Circus Show. What says he about the secret documents? Because if it matters. Watch how he frantically reads his scripted answer to the fake question. The purpose of this lob ball is to maintain cognitive dissonance among the public. The public has to think that there is international competition in the imaginary Vaseline bubble market, as opposed to, oh, Big Pharma colluding to rip off the public everywhere in the world. That cannot possibly be the case. So knuckle turds are always lucky to get any rip-off prices for everything. There's more. If the standards and regulations applied to farmers, say, were applied to big pharma companies, we wouldn't be here, and you wouldn't be listening to any charming asshole with a turntable through the interwebs. The bad guys want the public to keep the government's responsibility in the pharmaceutical industry totally different from any other supply chain or delivery scheme. This is pre-programmed failure to clear the path for total imaginary control. Et je suis sûr que c'est pas ce que le député souhaite pour émettre en péril les chaînes d'approvisionnement du Canada. Nous allons continuer de communiquer avec. Go ahead, interrupt the parliamentary pretorted secretary. Why not? You know, like nobody gets a chance to talk anymore. Like they're pressed for time. <laughs> like, <laughs> government and they can't even talk. <laughs> oh god. Now we've got Pierre Poilievre playing the part of Perry Mason from the Pien Ontario going for a Golden Globe LARPY award. His job is to keep pre-tarded conservatives in suspended animation and to maintain the stupid American comparison stereotype. The best part is that he gets cut off before he can ask any question. But no problem, the secretary gets right into reading his scripted answer to the question that was never asked. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Uh, with respect to the job numbers, I would point out to the member opposite that there is a global pandemic that is impacting different parts of the country and different parts of the world. Sean Fraser, the Parliamentary Middle Class Prosperity and Finance Secretary, is such a good reader. Who wrote the script? Whose job is it? to make sure he says the right things. No matter what it takes, no matter how long it takes. No matter what it takes, no matter how long it takes. No matter what it takes, no matter how long it takes. No matter what it takes, no matter how long it takes. The Honorable Member for Carlton. The Member's right, it is a global pandemic. It exists in the United States. Which has Anyways, all of this is more vacuous delay theater to entertain a particular demographic of the population who are praying for angels to deliver a magic potion to them for free. While the rest of the world is returning to work. Why do foreign workers get paychecks and we get credit card debts? Parliamentary Secretary. 
Madam Speaker, the short-sightedness of the member opposite is absolutely astounding. With great respect, if we wanted to have a short-term uptick in employment rates, we could talk to the premiers and say, don't put in place public health measures that are designed to protect the lives and well-being of the people who live in our communities. But we know that that short-term game would do immeasurable damage to the long-term economic, economic interest from a economic interest of our nation. We are going to advance supports so provinces can do what is right to protect the health and well-being of their residents. And we can prevent economic scarring so we can rebound from this pandemic on the back end stronger than any developed economy in the world. I have a better idea. How about you guys build back better on your own back ends and leave everybody else alone?